today i'm just a little tired of cooking and so i just thought i'm going to make a simple dum ka keema which requires minimum effort so for the dum ka keema we need to marinate our keema for 2 hours first let's take this keema i've taken half kg of mutton mince i'm going to add raw papaya paste when you're using papaya paste as a tenderizer for your meat don't remove the skin of the papaya use it along with the skin so now i've taken quarter cup of raw papaya paste i'm going to add 1 teaspoon of ginger paste 1 teaspoon of garlic paste and some nutmeg powder so i've made a special garam masala powder using um, coriander seeds cloves green cardamom cumin seeds cinnamon seeds of a black cardamom mace and peppercorns now for the measurements of these ingredients please go into the description so i'm going to add this powder so i have taken about 2 cups of fried onions which is about 5 onions fried them golden and then i have made a paste out of it i'm going to add this now let's leave this mince for 2 hours to get marinated So while I make my cup of coffee, you organize the ingredients for your recipe. It's been two hours since the meat has got marinated. I'm sure the papaya has done a very good job of tenderizing the meat. I'm going to add a tablespoon of chili powder to this. Salt. Mix this well again, and now we're going to cook this on a dum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this keema. into a vessel which is got a heavy bottom and it's got a lovely tight heavy lid so that the uh steam doesn't go off and the meat cooks in its own juices so before that i'm going to add some mustard oil and now i'm just going to simply add this mince on top of it and now on a medium to low flame i'm going to cover it and cook it till the mince is done now once the mince is done you will see a layer of oil that floats on top of it so now let's wait for another 45 minutes to 50 minutes depending on the quality of mince that you're using it's been good half an hour that we have kept our dumka keema to cook let's see if it's done this is smelling awesome And yes, it has cooked because I can see the layer of oil floating on top. Now I'm going to give this a nice smoky flavor. So I've got some live coal over here, which I'm going to take in a katori. And what I'm going to do is place it right in the center over here. I'm going to sprinkle some clove powder. If you don't want to make clove powder if you're just tired of even that then just put a few cloves on to the coal and now immediately I'm going to put a tablespoon of ghee on top of it and cover it and that's it so now this coal will help the keema to get a lovely smoky flavor and then you can have this to your heart's content with a pav or uh, parathas or whatever that you like Just leave this coal for about 10 minutes in the keema and the flavor will be just amazing. Ha. Huh. I'm going to serve this yummy dum ka keema with some soft warm paus to my son once he's back from college. You saw how easy this recipe was to make. I put this on a dum. I went and watched my favorite TV show, sipped a nice hot cup of coffee while I was doing that, and I'm back to just serving this keema now. The bell is going to ring any minute and my son is going to come home hungry and I'm sure he's going to relish this. So you can make this also for your loved ones. Do try this recipe and let me know. So for such interesting non-veg recipes, subscribe to Get Curried.